So in today's tactical recreation, it's Dave Chinlaw's 4231 stroke 433 with Stockport. This was requested. This one is one of those tactics that I have to do a little bit of FN tweak on it. Uh, as on your screen is the formation team that he's been putting out. He does play a little 433 sometimes, and that's really what I've gone with on my tactical recreation. And that is on your screen now is because Collier doesn't naturally play as a shadow striker behind. Uh, the striker up front so his natural position is in central midfield so i've got him in central midfield on attack so will we plan up there more as a 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3 but like i say a little bit of fm magic had to be springs on this one and starport themselves have been having a really good time lately last season winning skybet league two fantastic coming up with wrexham so let's take a look so our first game in skybet league one is against rotherham and we were just unbelievable we beat them 6-0, but not just that. When you look at the stats, they only had two shots. We were just all over them. And in the Carabao Cup, first round, we beat Tramere 3-2. Second round, we beat Lincoln 3-1. Then it's Bournemouth, who we beat 2-1 thanks to a Barry penalty. And in the league, we've still not dropped a point. We did have three draws in a row, but since then, we're just winning games for fun, beating Exeter 4-1, Lincoln 6-2. Leighton Orient 2-1, Peterborough 3-1, 3-0 against Bristol Rovers. Like I say, a really good run in the Carabao Cup. Knocking out Bournemouth is excellent. We've only got Villa in the fourth round. It's going to be a tough tie, but I believe we can do it. And we only knocked out Villa, beating them 3-0. Mellon was great, got himself a little brace. But when you look at the stats, I think we were good for it. Other than possession, 3-0, excellent result. And then it was another Premier League team, Nottingham Forest, and stats-wise are very even, but their class really took its toll on us, and they beat us 3-0. And our first loss in the league came against Wigan away from home. We lost here 2-1. Watton on the score sheet, and uh, Watton, he's pretty good. He just loves scoring goals in the league. He has got so many so far, and he's the top goal scorer in the league as well. Talking about the league, we are top five points clear of Huddersfield. We won 16, Drew 7. We've only lost one game all season, and we've got a goal difference of 43, 55 points. We played two less games at Huddersfield as well, so we're looking really, really good. It's the 1st of January. Keep this run going, and we're going to have a record number of points. And we still have a record number of points, even though we lost against Cambridge 2-1. In the FA Cup, we knocked out Port Vale in the third round. We beat Huddersfield and Peterborough in round one and two. We beat Villa again in the FA Cup fourth round, 1-0. We've got the beating of them. We beat Peterborough, Wrexham in the league. A few little draws here against Stevenage, Leighton Orient, Lincoln, uh, Barnsley. Uh, but we're doing really well in the league. Northampton beat 5-3, Rotherham 3-0. Then only slight little worries. Watton had 16 goals on 1st of January. Now we're in March. He only has 19 goals. So he's only scored three goals since. But everyone else is chipping in. Now it's the quarterfinal and it's Arsenal. And we only knocked them out 2-1 with Watton on fire getting a brace. And then in the semi-final, it was none other than Chelsea. And this was close. We lost 2-1. And I feel we were so close to the final. And the last few games in the league, we're chasing down the record number of points in Skybet League 1. It's 103 set by Wolves in the 2013-2014 season. So that's what we're targeting, 103 points. We did drop some points though. Charlton, a one-all draw here. We beat Wickham 3-2, Shrewsbury 4-1. And we lost against Huddersfield 4-1. We beat Corley 3-0 and Birmingham in the last game of the season 3-1. Before we get to the league table to see if we've done it, let's run over the tactics. So here it is. This is my Dave Chinlaw's 4-3-3 stroke, 4-2-3-1. In goal, we've got a sweeper keeper on defend. On the left-hand side, we've got a wing back on defend. On the right-hand side, we've got a complete wing back on attack. I've gone for a central defender on defend alongside another central defender on defend. In front of them, we've got a defensive midfield on support. And in front of them, we've got a box-to-box -box midfielder on support alongside a central midfielder on attack. Left hand side, we've got in five forward on attack. Right hand side, a winger attack. Up front is a target forward on support. Tactical style was just a custom one, just copy everything here. Mentality balanced in possession. Attacking with narrow. Focus down the left, focus down the right. Underlap on the right. 
Fastenet is shorter, tempo slightly higher, time wasting never, low crosses. In transition, counter press, counter, dispute quickly and roll it out. Out of possession, high press line of engagement, a standard defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goal hit distribution and get stuck in. And like I said earlier, I had to sprinkle a little bit of FM magic onto this one. Yes, we did. Just about 130, drew 13. We only lost three games all season. Got a really good goal difference of 71. And we got our 103 points matching Wolves 2013-2014 season. A bit of a disappointment here. Watton still only has 19 goals in the league. But overall, in all competitions, he has our top goal scorer, 26 goals. And the most assists comes from Farini with 16 assists in the league. And our best performer in the league, even though he only played 16 times, is Oliver Norwood with a 7.28. And when we look at the data, goals per game, we've got a 2.57. Shots per game, a 14.59. And conceded per game, we've got a 1.02 with 17 clean sheets. So now let's run over some team stats. And we're on every single list. Uh, most points per game, a 2.24. Most goals, we scored 118 in the league. Most shots for second place here, 671. Fewer shots against were top here, 362. Best pass completion, second place here with 88. Most possession, fifth place here with 55%. Most tackles won, we're even on this one, seventh place here with 938. Most dribbles made, second place here, 671. Most clean sheets, third place here with 17. And fewest conceded, third place here, 47 for the season which has been a very, very good season, a record-breaking season. The Cups were absolutely mental. We were knocking out some great teams, Villa, in both Cup competitions. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've got a tactical recreation you want me to do, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. See you then.